Behind me is one of the world's smallest true Class A gas motorhomes. What I love about this floor plan is that it is 100% usable with the slide outs in and with the slide outs out. This is the 2024 Coachman Pursuit model 29 XPS. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited today to be showing you this awesome Coachman Pursuit Class A gas motorhome. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. Beautiful day here in Florida. Yes! Good day to look at RVs. Yes! We haven't oh, done one of these in a while, Matt. Actually, we've never done a 29 XPS. We've done Pursuits, but not the Right, floor but plan. it's been a long time. So it's really exciting. You ready? Model is 29 XPS, Coachman Pursuit. The actual tip tip length is 31 feet long. This sits on the F53 chassis. It's the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine. This is Coachman's entry level Class A gas motorhome, but there's still a ton of features that I love about Coachman. Love the LED lights, love the front grill, even though it's a Pursuit, and the front windshield. Now, the Pursuit does have a sister product called the Coachman Encore SE, and it is the same floor plan and same interior. They just do that for different territorial reasons. Up here in Ocala, we sell Pursuit, and we sell Encore, but uh, in Tampa, we only sell Encore, and then it's different throughout the entire country. Again, 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine, and we do have mirrors on both sides, and then here's something unique, Andrea. There is no side mount cameras on this motorhome, okay? And then look at these tires, Dre, and they're the Conti hybrids. I love those. 245-70R, 19.5, with shiny rims right there. Coming on down here, you can see it has a very nice power awning with LED light. And then we do have... Oh, that's good storage. Very good storage right here. I like how big the storage compartment door is and everything. It's very nice. Traditional windows, frameless window on the door. This is a Coachman, Andrea, so they use Asdell. Asdell is a composite that sits behind the fiberglass and it will never delaminate on you. And then right here, we do have brackets and coax if you do want to have a TV for the outside. Now, Andrea, this motorhome is made to really honestly be as cheap as possible. It's to give you the most amount of motorhome for the least amount of price. So there is some shortcuts like no TV on the outside and no side cameras that we're gonna see. I'd love to hear your feedback uh, by commenting down below. And then coming on down, we do have a propane tank here. Okay, here's where you uh, have one of your valves oh. for your dumps. Matt, that's a propane quick connect. Propane quick connect, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then here. Oh, that's good. Fantastic storage in the rear wow. end rail. Very, very nice. And the reason why is because there's no slide out in the bedroom. So you're able to, and it's a north to south bed. So you're able to get that awesome slide out there. Right around the back, we do have an 8,000 pound hitch. Now I'm not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must know before you tow. There is a backup camera, obviously, which is super important. Unleaded fuel fill right here. And here you can see more of that storage, okay? And then Andrea, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof or a one piece cross flex roof from Coachman. Let's go up there and take a look. There we go now. Hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece cross flex roof. Solar panel right here. Single AC unit. Again, they're trying to make this as value priced as possible. Right there is prep for a digital antenna. And then there and there, no, right there is prep for your satellite. And then there and there is your King Air digital antenna. And that looks like it's like a little Wi-Fi booster. We got two steps. Last step. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> no, everybody. Right over here. You can see the other side of the storage. Now, notice what I did on the roof, or what I said on the roof. Single AC unit. Yes, this is a 30 amp motorhome. It is not a 50 amp motorhome. Interesting. 
They're doing that, Andrea. Save on cost. Save a lot on cost. Right there. Okay, that's where you dump your tanks. And again, there's gonna be people, Andrea. Here's all your water hookups. I hate this on a Class A motorhome. I'm not even gonna give it a penalty on this one. Cause again, this is made, so everybody's getting upset about the decontenting of motorhomes. But then also people are getting upset about the price, like a bounder's $200,000. You can't have it both ways. Right. So again, nothing's wrong with decontenting to make it more affordable but also give me the option to have the higher end ones. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what this motor home is. Right here's potable water fill, potable. Potable. City water, sewer flush, everything right here. Water heater and outdoor shower there. Right over here, a little bit of storage. Here's gonna be your propane. Uh, and PS generator. Generator, oh my goodness. Yep, your propane's down there. But uh, your NPS 4500 generator. Outdoor shower. Here's your propane right there. And then Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specs right there for everybody who's watching on television. You need to recenter that or is it okay? It's okay. And then here is a little bit more storage. All right. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Pursuit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Cargo carrying capacity, 3,478 pounds. Oh, wow, that's not bad for this. Oh, uh, that's phenomenal. It's actually small. All right, so I'm coming in, I'm walking up front, and the walkway is really good for this one slide, but it's, wow, pretty good. You definitely open the fridge. There's the shower. You have a split bathroom. Yes. There's your toilet and your north south queen size bed. I love north south beds. I'll try it. This is a great motorhome. And again, you can use the whole thing with the slide out in. But we are going to put the slide out out. And while we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. It's officially 2024, and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are going to be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry level travel trailer or a top of the line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just gonna take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee, and they'll ship it straight to your house or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my Class C motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMatches.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. America, it's hot. And I haven't been home. I had to fly to Richmond to pick up a box truck. And then I drove it down here and I met Andrea. So because of that situation, I don't have a belt. And it's okay because I was covering up with the sweater. But Andrea, it's Ocala, so it's sweater weather in the morning, and then by the afternoon, right. you know, it's time to take that sweater it's off. it's the only state you have four seasons in one day. But you know what, Andrea? This is a price point motorhome, and this motorhome could not afford a belt today, so that's why we're doing that. You know what I'm saying? Is that funny or no? Sure. Okay. Let's get started up front in this cockpit area. I like that. There's not a big step up right there. Correct. Right here, Andrea, 7.3 liter V8. Here's where you can control your mirrors. Again, right here is your camera. Coachman Pursuit, okay? I love how everything's kind of angled towards me. Let me see the camera, please. Right here, you can see that it does have Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then the camera, you will see that it's only the reverse camera. Oh, when we get back there, because there is no side marker cameras, but again, 
That is a big screen, and with both mirrors, I can see just fine. Andrea, how does it feel to sit in the co-captain seat? You know, it's comfortable. Um, not bad. I don't think I can go back too, too far. Okay. That sofa, but actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that sofa's in a good spot. Um, I like this. We have a nice, sturdy workstation right here. Yes, ma'am. And then right here is like a little cup holder. For sure. And as you can see, we have privacy curtains, little cubbies on the side. Yes, I'll show that in just a moment. And those privacy curtains do go all the way around. Again, no motorized shade, Andrea. Price point. Got a bunk over the cab that holds 300 pounds. This is good because it's manual and you don't have to worry about the little motor. Yeah. Bada bing. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's good. Bada Look, oh, so it's great. Just like that. Absolutely. Yeah. The seat's not even in the way. Right. We are good to go. Easy breezy. Easy to pop up. And then, just like that, we click in. And then over here in the living room area, look, even though this is entry level, the cabinets still look absolutely fantastic. How do you like the way the cabinets look? They're good. Yep, you can yeah. tell that they're cheaper. Cheaper is also lighter. That's how you have that awesome cargo carrying capacity. But they still look good. And then right here's the valances. Andrea? Approved, B! Oh, Andrea loves those valances. And then right over here is a very nice size sofa. This does jackknife down to make a bed. And I like how long it is. Andre and I, we have a travel trailer. And one of my biggest things that I don't like is how short my sofa is. This is a perfect size for somebody like me because I'd be sitting here and my dog would be laying down there. Little Miss Unigirl. And we are looking directly across at the TV Entertainment Center. Very nice. Oh, snap. One thing I want to point out, Andrea. <laughs> Here are the blinds. Womp womp. Price point, y'all. I'm going to tell you guys the MSRP in just a moment. But I do not like those. And we will be touching on these a little bit later. But you want to know what one of the benefits are? You know who likes these? Becky. You oh. know why? No. Because they don't rattle like the MCDs oh, do. Oh, yeah. That's true. I'll take the rattling, though. I don't mind. Over here is the dinette. There is storage underneath the dinette. On both sides. Yes, ma'am. And there. There's also power. And the dinette does drop down to make the bed. Also, there's cup holders here. Okay. And then, again, right here is the TV directly across from the entertainment center. And windows right there. And both of these windows do open for some nice cross breeze. You know what I'm saying? And before we show everybody the price, I want to show this storage. Or tell everybody the, the price. And, Andrea, please show us this kitchen. Okay, I'll start over here. Um, we have a nice cabinet here. Solid with this countertop in here. Wow, that's, that's actually surprising. Yeah, it's pretty, too. Double sink with the extension. And over here, okay, so they, I just noticed they're doing a two-tone color. Ah, here. very nice. We got a cabinet under the sink. Okay. And then above here, we've got the little uh, microwave. Yep. Three burner, propane, I don't know. Magic, Magic Chef. Chef. Top. Ma'am. And then the oven. All little, right. Little oven. Yeah. Hey, Art Deco. No. Oh. And then over here, we have another cabinet. Very nice. And then the compressor, GE compressor refrigerator. Good size. Very cold already. Oh, yeah. Running just off the batteries. That's now, nice. They did give you a pantry, which is nice. Well, that's not the pantry. Sorry. That's more like a... I don't know. It, it could be whatever you it want, Andrea. Like it should be like a closet or something, right? Hey, this is your uh, motorhome. You can make it whatever right, so you got want. Three doors, soft clothes. Oh, very nice. Coachman tends to do that. Okay. Yes. All right, and there's your panel right there. And then a, a door right here, an accordion, accordion door to yes. separate from the bathroom. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm like camera defunction. All right, or malfunctioning. <laughs> it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, sometimes that camera has a Yeah, uh, it's got a mind of its own. its own. MSRP on this motorhome here is $167,884. MSRP, okay? It's something I want to tell everybody. It is the year 2024. We have it 31% off to a sale price of 115995 
that is a phenomenal price. And because of that, Andrea, it makes it one of the absolute best price Class A gas motorhomes in all of America. If not the best price. On an F53 chassis. A true Class A. Yeah. And Andrea, guess what? I bet you we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to our team, Andrea, and they are here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America on the absolute best price Class A in America, the Coachman Pursuit slash Encore 29 XPS. Andrea, let's continue the video. Coming on through here, we do have a split bath, 24 by 36 shower, very nice. I got my soap holder here, good size, little little shower Not door a there, shower door, and a sky dome right there. So it definitely gets the job done. Right over here is the corner bath or the side bath. I'm gonna just show this uh, area real quick. So before you go in there, there yes, you go. Yes, yes. Now the toilet's on a pedestal. Porcelain. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp womp. Oh, Andre, my, my feet are just a little too tall. And then, oh, we got liquefied sitting right there in the storage. Guys, that's our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Go to primepoopingposition.com to pick up a bottle. Nice little sink. And then here we got a little bit of storage there. Very nice. You know, nice little small bathroom. It gets the job done. And then to wrap it all up, Andrea. Accordion door going into the master bedroom. Yes, let me show this to everybody. Now there's two of these. Yes. Okay. It ain't pretty. It ain't nice. I'm not a fan of them. But you know what it is, Andrea? It's as close to a hundred thousand dollar motorhome as you can get. Right over here, we do have a north-south bed, fully walk aroundable. Look at look at what's going on here. You see this? Yes. I told you guys, this is what's that's why you're able to get that awesome outside storage. Nice hubby there, storage More there. Yes, ma'am. Tons of storage all the way over there. I'm gonna open one real quick. It's kind of high. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we have another little wardrobe here. Yes, ma'am. And then right over here is our uh, headboard. Okay. Nice windows around both sides. Also, look at that. You got a little stand right there. And a TV wood mount above. It's already prepped. Yep. And then if you move on over here, Andrea. So we got some. We probably don't think, have storage. No, I think we do. Oh no, we don't. Andrea, you have. You got it right. You knew it. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things that we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it first. First. Yeah. Let's just switch it up. Okay. First thing, Andrea, I'm going to start back here because I'm already back here and I'm stealing yours. I love this bedroom. I love the north to south bed. I love how small it is, but how bright it is. And I love how you have that awesome exterior storage from the outside. That is love number one. Andrea, love number two? Love number two for me is going to be, oh, it's tough, you guys. I mean, the floor plan's really good. Yes, the, the fact, fact, yeah. Yeah, it's a really good floor plan. You you only have the one slide right here. And the fact that you can use 100% yes. of the motorhome with the slide out in, right. that is very, very nice as well. That's number two. And then, Andrea, I'm going to sound like a salesman, okay? And before I say this, watch your step. Before I say this, Andrea, I would not buy this motorhome, personally. I like the Coachman Encore 325SS. That's about $30,000, $40,000 more than this. You know what I'm saying? With that said, I absolutely love and respect the fact that Coachman's giving you all of this motorhome at such an affordable price point. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people that want to be at $100,000 and they just can't. It's just too hard to get the in motorhome a class there a. in a class yeah. A. And Coachman is able to do it on this unit. With that said, is this as cheap as they come? Is there a lot of things that we're not liking about it? Yes, obviously. But it is what it is. It's not about what I would buy. It's about Coachman giving people the options, and I love that. And I'm going to combo that, Andrea, with the solid surface countertops. I did not expect that. 
Andre, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. First one's outside. Dislike number one, Andrea, I don't see any side mount cameras. Very, very unique and different. I'm not sure if it's a this thing, a 29 XPS thing. For me, I like to have the side cameras. Believe it or not, even though I don't use them, that's just, but I like to have them. You know what I'm saying? That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be, I am not a fan of accordion doors. Or accordion shades. Right, and the fact that you have two right there, mm. that's just not good for me. Yeah, 100% agree. That's dislike number two. And then, Andrea, dislike number three. See, I feel like we should combo that. Um, But, no, I'll tell you, dislike number three is just the, the split bath. You know what I'm saying? Uh, It's so, you, you, you know it's what it is? It's hard with this length. It's not that. It's hard with the this length and this price. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there's a lot of things I dislike. But again, once you take into consideration the price point of this motorhome, they really did a fantastic job with it. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to say that split bath, 24 by 36 shower right there. It's kind of all right. You know, definitely not the best. Definitely not the worst. But Andrea. Oh, and I will say the, uh, I'll, I'll combo that. The twisty doors on the outside, not a fan of. And again, there's other things that I don't like, like all those water hookups out there. But again, it's because they're trying to stay so price point. You know, it is what it is, Andrea. That's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, believe me when I say this. Even though this is the most entry-level Class A gas motorhome, it's still a phenomenal motorhome. It's still Coachman, and you're going to get an awesome unit, but especially at an awesome price point. So if you guys are interested in getting a little bit of a better price than the sale price that you see online, all you got to do is click the link down in the YouTube description below. It takes you to generalrv.com slash matscash. I also have a link to our website. And you can also call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. And they will get you one thing and one thing only. And that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, what do you got to say? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. It does uh, watch the videos and they do um, read all the comments, you guys. So make sure you leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.